In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a brake bleed procedure on this BMW 535i xDrive. If you need to perform an ABS bleed, you will need a special scan tool. Let's get into it. To start, we're going to have to access the master cylinder area for the reservoir. We're going to have to take these panels off. We're going to remove this weather strip, just pull up out of the way. You can just move it out of the way or take it off completely. Using a 13 millimeter socket, we're going to loosen up this wing nut. Just going to turn about 90 degrees. And then there's a little clip right here. Just take a straight blade screwdriver, get underneath that clip, pop that out. You can grab this panel, slide it up. That's where your cabin air filter is. The panel right here. Take that out, just lift it up. I'm gonna take this little lock off. I'm just gonna use a straight blade screwdriver. There's a little lever right here. You can lift up on that, slide that out. Using the 13 millimeter socket, loosen up this wing nut here. There's one right here, and then one right here. Just twist them to the left. There's a screw right here. I'm just going to use a Phillips head screwdriver. Take that screw out. Take that out. Grab this panel. Just slide it up out of the way. I'm going to wipe the top of the reservoir off just to make sure no dirt or debris gets in there when we take the cap off. Loosen up the cap. We'll set that aside. Now I'm going to use a fluid extraction pump. Suck out the old brake fluid. Make sure it's clean. You don't want to contaminate the fluid. You just get as much out as you can. And now we're going to add the new fluid. You can check right on the reservoir. It tells you what type of fluid to use. This vehicle says dot four. So we're going to use this and just fill it up. Make sure it's a new container of fluid. And there is a max line on the side here. So you want to fill it up to that max line. And we'll put the cap back on. Snug that down. You want to raise and support the vehicle and remove all four wheels. We're going to be starting on the right rear caliper. Then we're going to go to the left rear. Then we're going to the right front and then the left front. I'll take the cap off the bleeder screw right here. Let's pull that off. We're going to use a 11 millimeter wrench and then you want to have a drain bucket underneath in case you spill any fluid. I'm going to use a hose attached to a bottle just to keep it a little bit cleaner and you can see the fluid as well. Now with an assistant inside the vehicle, we're going to have them pump the pedal. Go ahead, pump the brakes three times, slow. And then hold the pedal down. We're going to open the bleeder screw. You're going to see fluid come out. There might be some bubbles. Close it up again. The pedal goes to the floor. Go ahead, pump it up again three times. And then hold it. Open it up while they're holding it. Goes to the floor. Get some of that dirty fluid out. Close that up. Go ahead, pump it three times. and hold it. Open it up. All right, that looks good. No bubbles. If you had bubbles, you would continue doing this cycle again. Close it up. Go ahead, let off the brake. Then we're gonna take this off. Make sure this is snugged up. And just spray it off with a little brake parts cleaner. That's good. With the brake pad wear sensor. I'm just going to put that around the cap and put the cap back on. 
And from here, you would do the same procedure on the left rear wheel. At this point, we're gonna top off the fluid. Take the cap off. And just top off the fluid. Put the cap back on. And move on to the next wheel. Now we are on the right front caliper or the passenger side front. We'll do the same, take this cap off for the bleeder. Using a 10 millimeter wrench, put that over the bleeder screw. Again, put a drain bucket underneath and I'm using a hose, put the hose on the bleeder and we'll have the assistant go ahead, pump the pedal three times and then hold it, crack this open, a little bit of fluid, a oh, little bit of bubbles, close that up again. Go ahead, pump it slow three times. And hold it. All right, close it up. Go ahead, pump it slow three times. and hold it. Open it up, the pedal goes to the floor, close it up, and there's no more air bubbles. That air is just coming out because I had the hose off. Go ahead, pump it, and just see how it feels. All right, you can let off. I'll take the hose off. Double check, make sure this is snug. It's good. Little brake parts cleaner, wipe it off with a rag. Put the cap on. And then you're gonna do the same procedure on the driver's side front or the left front caliper. Now we're gonna to top off the fluid, take the cap off one more time. And just top it off. Fill that to the max line. That's good. Put the cap on. Just snug that down. You can wipe off any drips. That's good. Now take the cover. Get this lined up. Now take the screw, get that lined up, snug that down using the socket. Now tighten these wing nuts right there, right there, all the way over here. That's good. This lock, line this up, and just push it, lock it in place. This cover, line this up. Get that in place. Cover the, for the cabin air filter. There's some ears on the back. You can slide those right into those slots. And then tip it down. Take this bar. Lock that down and right here. Take the wing nut, just twist it 90 degrees. Now the weather strip, get this to line up. There we go. Now that was an easy job. You wanna take it for a road test, double check for leaks, and you should be good to go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.